the climate impacts have to be addressed. For Kate Moran, the fight to bring down emissions means conquering a new frontier, the ocean. The ocean has the biggest capacity, including the ocean basalt, to actually help us with removing CO2 from the atmosphere. The Solid Carbon Project is the first of its kind in Canada, years in the making. Wind turbines will power direct air capture technology, aiming to suck CO2 from the air, then pump it below the ocean floor, where the CO2 would react with basalt, eventually turning into rock. Carbon sequestration is already happening on land, but Moran says this is different. This technology is the ultimate in terms of durability because it will react with the, with the basalt, form rock, and never go back into the atmosphere. This past summer, the team went on an expedition to survey the ocean floor and to test camera equipment and CO2 monitoring devices. Then we're looking at this Cascadia region. Its focus is on the Cascadia Basin, 300 kilometers off Vancouver Island. The team says basalt there has the potential to store 750 gigatons of CO2, or up to 20 years of global emissions. These red clusters show how much basalt there is on Earth. The big question is whether all this can be done. It's not going to capsize or something like that. Um, so it does look like a, a feasible way to do it. I think for some people that concept might just be a little mind-blowing. Yes, and it is. I mean, it is. You're, anytime you go offshore, it's a more extreme environment. Moran sees this project as necessary to help save the planet. My view is that innovation doesn't happen without perseverance. The team still needs to demonstrate that this can work, and they need $60 million in funding to get there. If successful, this Made in Canada solution could be used around the world in the fight to lower emissions. Julia Wong, CBC News, North Saanich, British Columbia.